Hey guys, what's going on? I just got a few, uh, as you can tell, I got a few creature baits I wanted to talk about here. Uh, as far as these are all my favorite creature baits uh, that have brought me success. And I'm just going to go through each one and quickly talk about uh, what I like about them and why I like them. Uh, first one here, Kevin Van Dam's Perfect Plastics uh, Strike King. I think this is called the uh, Beaver Bug. Uh, this here is a pearl and pepper color. Um, uh, just like all the rest of these, this thing is great Texas rigged, um, but it's also got a heavy enough body I can do it weightless. Uh, it's a nice soft plastic, um, and so the bass, when they get hold of it, they tend to try and hang on to it pretty well. Uh, however, because it is so soft, it's pretty easy to lose these appendages. Uh, so uh, when you get into a fish or two with any particular one, it's probably going to be about time to change it out. Um, but that's kind of a good problem to have. Uh, so definitely give those a try. Uh, I like those pretty well. Uh, next, I got the first of uh, three that I have from Yum. I like their stuff pretty dang well um, for many reasons. Uh, this one here in particular is the uh, Black Neon Mighty Craw. Um, really just found this one for a jig trailer, uh, finesse jig trailer rather. Thought it was pretty comparable to that of a Zoom Craw. Uh, I'm sorry, a Zoom Speed Craw with the way the claws are designed. Uh, benefit though, it has a couple extra appendages up here to create commotion and stir up trouble, uh, which is good for grabbing a fish's attention. Um, good resilient plastic it's made out of it holds up against a good handful of fish. Um, and I like that I got plenty of body back here to nip off these segments to create the size of jig trailer I should need. But uh, like I said, I certainly am not afraid to throw this Texas rig uh, or even weightless. Uh, so try those out. I think you'll be pleasantly uh, surprised with uh, how well those will perform for you. Uh, next is the, uh, again, Yum. Uh, it's the Mighty Bug in Cajun Neon. And this Cajun Neon, just real quick, is an awesome color that Yum has. It's like it's a, a little lighter than green pumpkin, but darker than watermelon. And of course, this one has great big red flakes in there. Um, this thing here is uh, really is a really awesome lure. Uh, it doesn't appear to have a whole lot of action built into the claws here, which is why for a long time I kind of avoided this thing. Um, this and the woolly bully just because of their pictograms. Um, they don't appear to have a whole lot of action built in. But once I actually got my hands on them, uh, this end here is kind of weighted. Uh, not weighted so much, it's just got a lot of material down there and it's a little thinner up here close to the main body which really gets those uh, the ability to wave around. Um, I love this thing. Actually my favorite way to use this is weightless, believe it or not. Um, you can cast it a pretty good fair amount uh, of distance and then uh, just let it sink slowly, obviously. And uh, when you twitch and tug this thing through the water, when all six of those appendages get going, uh, it literally feels like you have a small square bill or small um, lipless crank on the end of your pole. It, it really uh, causes a great commotion uh, that the bass can't seem to stand. So uh, I'm sure it'll do well for you. Just, if, just give them a try if you haven't already uh, with those. And then finally, as I kind of showed you earlier, I got the Wooly Bully here. Uh, another pretty awesome bait for weightless and um, Texas rigged alike. But my favorite way to fish this is actually on a jig, which you can see I have here. I got a June Bug uh, jig by AT here. Uh, just trimmed just a little bit off the butt end to make it the right size and length. And... Uh, like I said, when I first put this on, I could not believe the action that came out of these claws back here. Uh, and because of the body here, you can see how fat and uh, thick that body is. And because of that, if you've got a good jig like this, it uh, when it sits up, it, it really goes a long way to hold the, the claws up in a defensive posture, which, uh, again, I was super impressed with as a jig trailer is concerned. Um, but yeah, give it a try again. Just like all the other yums, uh, the plastic is pretty resilient. holds up to several fish. Um, but at the same time, it's it's not like it's hard. I mean, you can see it's pretty pretty soft as well. So uh, give those a try if you haven't already. Um, I hope you're as 
pleased as I was once I finally did. Um, so next year I got uh, what at least for me was a pretty hard to find. Uh, it's a Lake Fork Tackle uh, Trophy Lures and what it's called is the Hyper Freak and the Baby Hyper Freak. Obviously Baby being the smaller one. Um, actually stumbled upon these watching a YouTube video one day and uh, was immediately had my eye caught by that massive paddle back there um, and I mean to tell you that thing kinda like these up here when you're tugging that through the water um, or watching it on a fall if you Texas rig this thing uh, that thing gets to flail around it is a quite the commotion um, obviously not gonna be too horribly great for real clear water conditions being that it's so unnatural looking but uh, in some murky or muddy waters it's uh, pretty easy to spot because of the way that tail gets moving around. I uh, also like these weightless uh, flipping and pitching again I guess it's got to be pretty dark water but I uh, like them in that that fashion too. And weightless it's really neat because it's got kind of a thin profile uh, this way it really glides through the water and it's pretty cool to watch. Um, and the, the full size Hyper Freak here um, I like to do exactly that. Weightless, Texas rigged, um, but uh, I specifically went after these baby hyper freaks because they're great for, great size for uh, trailers. Uh, same type paddle, you can see everything else is identical except the size. And uh, it just works well for that. Uh, if I have to trim it up, I have to if it's a finesse jig. Um, this, this size here just as is does pretty good on like a 3 8 size ounce size jig like I've got over here. Um, I like the way that the, the tail again moves around on the jig and if you should ever get the notion that the bass are a little bored with that just take your pocket knife and split that right down the middle on either one of them and then that'll set you up with more of a what you got going on over here which sometimes it's that's all it takes to to reignite their interest in something. Um, and also just I have to note that uh, these have a very powerful strong uh, garlic scent to them and uh, it's uh, pretty cool as soon as you open the bag it's it's uh, just a big whoosh of garlic scent which I think apparently the bass tend to like because uh, it's hard for them to ignore these things next I got uh, something we're gonna be a little more familiar <laughs> uh, big bite baits this is called uh, a yo mama this is a four inch yo mama in black neon and watermelon. I uh, thought primarily that was an awesome color because, uh, you know, the, basically the way I fish, I kind of hop around uh, any number of a few different ponds that are within walking distance or a super short driving distance. And uh, if I've got muddy water in one and I go to the next and it's a little more clear and sandy bottom, I've got something that's going to work for that without having to trade it out all the time. A uh, good, heavy, firm body here. Uh, firm, but not not hard. I mean, it's still got soft, so the bass want to hang on to it, of course. Uh, it's got a bit of a hook slit here if you want to Texas or weightless rig it. Um, but I really like these on a jig as well. Uh, same with pretty much most any of these, but uh, like I said, section that off where I need to to get the right size because those paddles there are pretty awesome. Uh, the claws, rather. Um, they really get to sailing and flipping around and uh, the durability on this one is pretty impressive in its own right. Um, you can catch up to five or so fish on this before you start to notice it tearing real bad, uh, depending on obviously how big the fish is and how it gets hold of it. But um, a very resilient bait as well. You get you get a lot of mileage out of one. Next, I'm sure everybody's more than familiar with uh, Berkeley Havoc's Pit Boss. This particular one is in uh, the four inch body and electric blue. Um, I can't say enough great things about this. Uh, great big body, um, soft plastic with a, you know, ridges on the bottom that also kind of double as a hook slit. I can't really get a good shot of that, but you can see that a little bit. And, and these four claws back here just wave and flap around wildly when moving through the water. Uh, it makes it real hard for anything to ignore especially if it's close by. Um, again, a soft plastic, but uh, plenty of resiliency out of this. Uh, it'll hold up against a good handful of fish for you. And uh, 
because it has such a large body on it. Uh, about my favorite way to use this is weightless, believe it or not. Uh, you can cast it really well, uh, weightless. Uh, it sinks at a pretty good rate. And when it sinks in a nosedive, because these are kind of thin, they flail around even on the fall if they're weightless. And then the more you jerk it and reel it in, obviously that just enhances the action. So uh, if you haven't already tried these, I'd uh, certainly recommend it. They're easy to find. You can find them about anywhere without having to you know, order online uh, like I had to. These here, um, pretty much was only able to find those on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, but these, uh, I think I've even seen them at Walmart, I believe. So, uh, check them out and, uh, I don't think anybody's going to be let down, uh, in buying those. And last but not least, uh, something that might be a little unfamiliar to some of you just cause it's, it's not overly popular yet, but, uh, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't basically. Uh, but it's Missile Baits D-Bomb. And baby D bomb. And the reason I got both is because uh, I tend to, in my area, get into smaller fish, and so was a little concerned that the full size D bomb might be a little much. Um, you know, if I was wanting to, you know, actually catch and. Uh, but I've got it again. If I want to, you know, maybe shake off all the small bass and get into maybe something that's lurking around, being finicky. I've got the big one as well, obviously. Uh, I've got Love Bug in the full size, and then the Green Pumpkin uh, Red Flake over here. And uh, the thing that really drew me to this is the whole concept of this fat, ridged body here. Uh, what that allows for is uh, creates a, a large, fat, almost impossible to ignore profile that goes through the water, but at the same time creates an extra soft feel with all those little fins that are wrapped around it. If that makes sense, it basically helps the fish to um, get hold of it and they want to hang on to it because it is so soft. Uh, furthermore, once you, once you Texas rig this and you bury it in those little fins, uh, it's just less material there for your hook to have to jump out of, uh, before it can get into a fish's mouth. So it's pretty awesome in that sense. Uh, these fins being here kind of thin and uh, when you pull that through the water, they really get going and it creates a, a really good action that, uh, fish seem to like so um that's that's my favorite uh creature baits uh again probably if i had to pick a favorite it'd be either the d-bomb probably uh, or the pit boss uh, so i'd for sure recommend checking out anything that stuck out to you and please let me know what you think um, but for now thanks for watching and uh, i'll talk to you next time